Alright guys, I am fresh off the expedition, which we just wrapped up. The review uh, for Expedition 14 Liquidators went out last night. So if you're watching this first thing in the morning, on Sunday morning, the I think the 18th of August, we're back on the main save. And it's freaking amazing. I'm so happy to be back on the main save. Um, but now that we're back on the main save, I can actually talk a little bit about some of the things I learned from the first expedition because the first expedition for me was uh you know diving off the deep end i wasn't quite ready to swim i definitely still need my little floaties and uh thanks to the community we we made it out of the deep end <laughs> and along the way i learned how to paddle a little bit better i still don't know how to hold my breath for very long and i'm not really good at swimming long distances but hey i could doggy paddle and i can keep my head afloat above water now that's the most important for newbies who are getting going for the first time <laughs> So, uh, overall, while I am terrified of the expedition, Liquidators, because I suck at combat, um, it did teach me a lot. And I feel it's very interesting because some of the things it taught me, the game just taught me this morning in a different way through the ongoing onboarding. I crossed the 50-hour mark this morning uh, during my live stream. And, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. It keeps teaching me things i've never had a game that 50 hours in is still giving me tutorials like i'll learn a system it might take me a stream it might be a couple hours of a stream i'll learn a system and then i'll move on to the next quest and that teaches me a new system and it's been ongoing just today as an example i learned through the in-game tutorial system how to uh, mine the or not mine but how uh, about the boxes underneath the um downed freighters. Players have been talking to me about those for a week and a half, two weeks in the chat of the of the streams, but I don't ever like bother looking for those because the game never taught me about it, and I did one time, and I was like, this sounds too confusing, I'm just going to wait, you know, and I went and did other stuff. Anyway, expedition. <laughs> I got sidetracked, guys. This That's the perfect way to get sidetracked, because this game does that very well to you. So the number one thing I learned um, that I took away from the expedition is um, in relation to my ship and my multi-tool and my exosuit. So um, beforehand we had, and I'm still not perfect at it, I still haven't finished setting everything up, but what I will say is that over here I, I was working on this um, specifically, has been my number one objective as soon as I got out of the um, out of the expedition into my main save I had finally learned a lot more about how this all works and the reason is because in the expedition they give you all sorts of mods that you can put on all of your things so you know here's your your jetpack you know here's your movement system here's all the ways that you can mod that movement system here's your life support system here's all the ways you can, you can mod that here's this here's all the ways you can mod that the, the the expedition gives you so many rewards that it was very easy for me once i saw how that was all working to then take a step back and go okay i can reverse engineer this on my main save and i know a lot of people in the community were watching me struggle bus over this um during live streams and sometimes it's just about the right way of teaching something to someone um, I've always been that way like I didn't understand algebra with the very first teacher I had in high school but the second teacher who taught geometry taught all of the equations in a way that it finally clicked for me and I went from like a C minus to an A it was the only class I ever had less than like an A in it was algebra and uh, I was able to get to top of the class with geometry because the teacher taught it in a way that I was able to understand. And I feel like the expeditions taught me this system in a way that I could understand and I could look at it and reverse engineer it and say, okay, that's how they all connect. Oh, which is it's the same way. I, I never even thought about looking at this, but it's the same way that I have learned things like doing VFX in Unity, world building Unity in Unreal, um, blueprints in Unreal, dabbling around with how to plug and play different elements is you just go watch somebody's tutorial right where they've already done it and work your way back from there and I could have gone and watched tutorials on this but I didn't want to ruin it for myself if I could figure it out on my own um, anyway I'm rambling so 
once I did that, I was able to then go into my multi-tool and go, okay, let's set up the optical drill, the mine, you know, let's get all my mining laser stuff so that I could start getting, in this case, an 88% bonus to my resources mined. You know, and looking at the exosuit, being able to get all this additional jetpack um, stuff, um, somebody suggested this during the stream, and we got to a low gravity moon, and I was totally able to do it, which was break orbit uh, with my character, uh, just using a jetpack, like no ship. Uh, it wasn't perfect, but it worked. I, I definitely had to go up, wait, do a little bit more, wait, do a little bit more. I had to finish in bursts, but uh, that was cool. So, understanding how all this system worked for um, the Exosuit, Starship, and Multitool was a great thing to have learned. The This is not finished. I haven't finished reorganize all, re reorganizing all of this, but this is what I worked on this morning. I then took... A complete basic ship that I have I'm not worried about the class some of you are getting triggered but that I don't the fact that I don't worry about the class I'll oh, just throw in the trash it needs to be class a um, I don't mind uh, uh, I, I'm very happy with this ship because of the way it looks it's like a Viper looking build um, and I went ahead this morning and like put stuff on it you know and was able to, you know, let's let's get all these things. And this wasn't anything special. Uh, I did get a new multi-tool, a Class A multi-tool, and I went and set it up the way I wanted to because the other thing that the expedition taught me more about was combat. I still don't like combat in this game, but I did learn a lot about the different types of weapons and everything else. Um, I'm a very big fan of the plasma launcher. Big, 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 big fan of the plasma launcher and being able to, like, lob grenades at, P at things very cool very very cool um outside of that it's for me it's the pulse spitter i just like the pulse spitter it's like a machine gun it reminds me of it doing any sort of automatic weapon in halo or destiny or call of duty i like that feel of the automatic weapon um also because i suck without an aim assist pray and spray works very well for me um i prefer it much more than the shotgun or any of the other things that I've come across so far. So the combination of grenades and um, automatic weapon at least lets me play the combat in a way that is familiar to me, even though I'm not very good at because there's not an aim assist here. And I have no problem saying that I'm a Care Bear baby who needs an aim assist. Mock me if you will. But I've done two playthroughs of Starfield. In my first playthrough, I did not like the combat in Starfield because it did not have an aim assist. And when they did the May 15th, 2024 patch, where they added survival options and everything else, they also added an aim assist on the Series X. And uh, I walked away from my second playthrough absolutely loving, loving the gunplay in Starfield. It's freaking amazing. Um, but that's because they have an aim assist, which makes me good, even though I'm not very good. <laughs> and then just learning a little bit about how all this stuff goes together. Um, I learned both, like, two integral things from the expedition that I was otherwise taking a long time to learn in the base game. And I've come across some stuff that I saw in the expedition that the game has now taught me. It just, I wasn't far enough along into the game to have learned that thing yet. But there was some stuff in there, like in the expedition, like, Quick commercial break, everyone, to celebrate and give thanks to all of these amazing people who keep me on the air full time. Really appreciate the support. All you got to do is join as a member. You get access to private videos. You can also do super thanks on any upload or super chats and stickers on any live stream or premiere you see. And beyond that, don't forget we're multi streaming over on Twitch now, so you can support over there as well. Thanks so much to everybody. Let's get back to the video at hand. Looking for a predator. That was one of them, which I, you know, the community helped me out on. And that was very interesting. I'd never done anything with the animal scanning other than, you know, to get the bonus for like one of the, you know, you, you scan all the fauna on a planet, you get a nanite bonus. By the way, that's why I don't have a lot of this fleshed out yet, guys. I literally only had so many nanites. I spent all my nanites getting these upgrades, the S, the three S upgrades for my uh, system here. And, and a bunch of other stuff because we had to build some stuff and, um, built some bits and pieces to get where we needed to be. Um, I will be working on the multi-tool next, probably. Um, 
I'm not really worried about Starship Combat at the moment, so I just wanted to get some base mods installed on here. Oh, that was the other thing um, the expedition taught me was like having launch fuel. Like the, it's so much easier to just have, you know, a stack of this on hand. So just whenever you find it, buy it. And I happened to stumble across a building that had like 50 of them in it. And I have been enjoying the absolute hell out of that because uh, I haven't had to manually craft any Starship launch fuel for a while. Um, and I also have the um, launch auto charger. So generally speaking, I don't ever run out ever. But it sure is nice to have, you know, when I'm doing a lot of planetary exploration and if I'm not landing on pads, you know, you can burn through the launch, launch fuel pretty quickly. So this is nice to have. Um, so yeah, I learned how to be terrified of things that come from underground. Uh, and, and are like Starship Troopers, but I did my part and uh, was able to learn quite a few things about the game along the way. I am glad it's over. Um, I am happy in my new, in my uh, original save now, um, and I'm going to be getting back to it and uh, continuing to have fun in No Man's Sky. But, expedition-wise, I would love to play another one. I'm hoping they do a drift next because I want that Iron Vulture um, and it just sounds really, really fun to go do something different and, you know, have a way to do lots of different things in No Man's Sky. I'm coming into an eight-year-old game that has a lot going on, and so it could feel a little overwhelming as a new player. But at the same time, that's, I think the thrill of it for me is the fact that there's so much to do that um, it is just good damn fun. That is a badass-looking ship right there. That's a frigate. Let's go take a look. This is the kind of... Man, like, if EVE, if EVE Online... I've tried EVE Online a few times, and I could never... Um, never feel it. But this right here... I definitely want to get a... This makes me want to get a flight stick. We're going to end on that note, I think, everybody. Because... I got other stuff I got to work on tonight, and I got another No Man's Sky video I want to make. Actually, I got two videos I want to make. Ooh, what is that? This is me getting sidetracked, folks. I have a lot of fun in this game. Let's go off to the next one. Like, subscribe, hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Daily streams, 11 a.m. We'll see you next time, everybody. Cheers.